you know what it means to miss New Orleans where mocking boys used to sing and I'd like to see the lazy Mississippi a hurry and in to spring over my cross the memories of Creole's tunes that fill the air I dream of old yanders in June And soon I'm wishing that I was there Do you know what it means to miss New Orleans When that's where you left your heart There's something more I miss the one I care for More than I miss New Orleans Anything you want me to do for you? I can't think of anything. If I do, I'll let you know. Hey, Shorty, what you doing? Frankie, I'm carrying boxes. Yeah? Where from? The alley. Who put them there? Produce supplies. Where do you think vegetables come from? <laughs> Hadn't given it much thought. Morning, Big Arthur. Uh-huh. Hey, what is that? I haven't seen you fix that before. Is that a new menu item? That's a special order for a big catering job tomorrow. I didn't know we catered. Sure, it's a big part of our business. Terrific. What are you doing? Uh, just getting a feel for the kitchen. Why don't you go get a feel for the dining room? Okay, fine. Nobody in the dining room. Frankie, how about I fix you some breakfast? Okay. Morning, Frank. What can I do to help you ladies out? I'll tell you what you can do to help me out. Excuse me? Nothing, Frank. We're doing just fine. Well, if I can help, just say the word. Why don't you help in the kitchen? Big Arthur suggested I help in the dining room. Is that right? Excuse me, won't you? Miss Marie, I've been here almost a week. What is it I'm supposed to be doing? Patience, child. It'll all be revealed to you in the fullness of time. Now, y'all don't be sending him out there all the time. That's my territory out there. That's my turf. Well, what are we supposed to do with it? Think of something. You just turn it. Turn it till it's all rolled up. <laughs> I see. Frank, you gotta help us out. What? We got a slight emergency in here. Yeah. Better get on in there. I don't know how this happened. What? What is it? You sure you can spare the time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? Can you get these items for us? Let's see, onion, garlic, pepper. That's the holy trinity of Creole cooking. It is. And we're short on all three. What else didn't get delivered, Big Arthur? Cilantro, currants, and pignolias. That's right. What is this, food? Yeah. Now go to the French market down the quarter. Huh? I'm out of here. Hey, Frankie, you get some beignets. But don't let them give you donuts. Tell them you don't want donuts. You want beignets. And don't take no for an answer. All right. Uh, I'm going to need some money. Is there a pity cash fund? Just go to the cash register and take out what you need. You can do that? You can. You're the owner. Remember? Yeah. Tiger! 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 
Tiger! Excuse me, a scotch and soda, please. I I'm not sure we're open yet. Yes, you are. I keep track of that sort of thing. Okay. Stay. You're most generous. How much? Three dollars? No. Two fifty? Uh huh. How about a buck? Uh huh. Ah, thank you. Hi. Thank God you're here. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know how this thing works here. Thanks, Tiger. They can give me a lesson on it someday. Right now, I gotta get to the market. <sighs> I'm back. How do you deal with this humidity? I don't know how much to get, so I got a bunch. <laughs> Guess I'm safe from vampires. Oh, you don't believe in that nonsense, do you? <laughs> I was just kidding, Miss Marie. Oh, vampires ain't afraid of garlic. Yeah, Shorty. I got everything. Terrific. Where you want it? How about over there? You got it. I tell you one thing, Shorty. Those folks down there, every time you ask for a beignet, they try to give you a donut. In New Orleans, a beignet is a donut. Oh, I see. Mr. Parrish, there's a salesman been waiting to see you. Um, Oscar Dent. Oscar Dent? What's he doing here? Tell him to go away. No, I'll see him. Mr. Dent? Mr. Parrish, good of you to see me. Now, I won't take much of your time. In fact, of late, I've been calling on your kitchen help. But now that there's a new man, a new boss, well... <laughs> what can I do for you? I represent the finest purveyor of crustaceans in the city. I understand you hail from Boston. Yes, that's right. Well, then you're a man who'd know a little something about lobsters and crabs. Yeah, I guess so. I happen to love lobster. You do. <laughs> well, then, I have a deal for you. Good afternoon, Mr. Parrish. Would you please take my chair and escort us to our table? Of course. Where are you taking me? Over there. D uh, Hannah? Frank, my mother always sits at that table right there. That table right there is occupied. Do you want World War III right now? They're almost finished. I'll go talk to them. You may tell Miss Marie we're here. Yes, Your Highness. That's nice. I like that. Excuse me. Your table will be ready in just a moment. <laughs> Remember, Frank? Fresh breath is the key to the people business. I'm out of lemon drops. But yeah, have a lozenge. Wintergreen. Thank you, Reverend. Let's have lunch sometime. I'm going to send you back to your mother, baby. How you doing, Bubba? I'm going back. I'm okay. He's having trouble getting some of his clients to pay his bills. If I could get people to pay their bills, I'd have hundreds and hundreds of dollars. How you doing? 
Oh, I'm fine. I enjoy dealing with the customers. It's the employees who bother me. And even though I've been here for only a week, it seems to me that someone with fresh eyes can see things that maybe you can't. For instance, there are several things on the menu that we don't even serve. Now, why is that? Folks expect those things to be on the menu. They've been there for years. I see. Okay. What about credit cards? We don't take them. Why not? Because that's the way it is. All right. What about a smoking and a non-smoking section? Frank, this ain't no airplane. Well, tell me this, Big Arthur. Why do we have lobster bisque on the menu and you don't even stock lobster? Uh, Frankie, we don't buy lobsters because it spoils so fast. What? It spoils. Spoils? Spoils. Oh, and our freezer breaks down all the time, and if lobster's left out for a couple hours, you gotta throw it away. Throw it away. Ah. Oh, uh, I see. What if you buy live lobsters? Then you gotta get a giant salt water tank and all kind of special equipment. You do? Sure, any idiot knows that. I see, yes. I've gotta make a few phone calls. Any other questions? No, we ain't got any other questions. What we got is the biggest catering job of the year waiting on us in the kitchen. That's what we got. That's right. Meeting adjourned. Uh, who's that for? Uh, it's to celebrate the engagement of Hannah Griffin and Dr. Lamar. Boysenberry. Yes, I know all about him. Doctor, teacher, athlete, scientist. Lover. I don't think we're going to do that one. I think someone else is going to cater that particular party. Oh, uh, Mr. Parrish, it's for Miss Bertha Griffin Lamore. You know what I mean? Well, I'll just have to call Mrs. Bertha Griffin Lamore and tell her we're not doing it. Now, Frank, I wouldn't do that. All right, I'll call her daughter. Oh, that's all right, Miss Marie. The boy's got to learn, just like you said. Hey, Gary, get out of here. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I called the man. Over and over, I tried to cancel the order. This is one of the worst things I've ever done. She's here. Who? Mrs. Lamour. In person? In your office. Is she mad? I don't know, man, but the wheels on her chair are smoking. Well, I'll just have to handle this. Excuse me. Big Arthur, would you kill the lobsters and then cook them? Mm-mm. I don't kill nothing. I only work with the previously dead. Look, Mrs. Lamore. I see the cat's back. Yes, ma'am. Come here, Anchor. I think it's despicable to name a cat after one of the greatest black ball players in the baseball history. Well, you're entitled to your opinion. I understand my father named the cat. I'm sure he did. Your father did many things, and I'll get to one of them in a second. Hi, Frank. I, uh, 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 oh, God, uh, excuse me. A afternoon, Mrs. Lamour. Mr. Parrish, whatever you may think you are to Hannah or she to you, I can assure you it is a figment of your imagination. Well... Hannah is engaged. She's marrying a gentleman. She's known him since her childhood. He's an orthopedic surgeon on the teaching faculty at Tulane. Hannah is a sensible and careful girl, not given to sudden infatuations. I regret that uh, you have misconstrued her natural charms for an attraction to you. But that's your mistake. Mrs. Lamore, surely you know the name of another caterer. Couldn't we pass on this one? You certainly cannot. Mrs. Lamore, you don't know me very well. And it is obvious you don't know me at all. And now to get back to your father. In May of 1986, your father took out a loan from me. As his heir, you have inherited that loan. Read everything carefully, Mr. Parrish. You will see this restaurant is collateral. Why would my father borrow... 
$10,000? I didn't inquire. However, the speculation was that he had lost quite heavily at the racetrack. My father bet on the horses. Your father liked to live high, part and parcel of the lifestyle of a saloon keeper or restaurateur. I don't know what to say. The party is tomorrow at 7. I'll send the food over. Mr. Parrish, when Bertha Griffin Lamour places a considerable catering order, she gets more than just food. The owner of the operation is also present. You find it's not only good for your business, it's also a matter of face. I'll think about it. Oh, think all you want. But remember, wear something nice. Herbert, let's go. Well? These look pretty good to me. By the way, I spoke to our bookkeeper, and this loan's on our books, too. We have a bookkeeper? Sure, you didn't know that? I don't know anything. I'm the guy you sent out for garlic. The restaurant business stinks, Bubba. Well, you know, no, nothing's easy at first, Frank. I think it's punishment. My father ignored me for 35 years. Now he's reaching out from the grave to get me again. Well, I don't think you ought to quit or oh, something. Oh, I'm not going to quit. I've only been here for a week. I can't quit. Besides, I have to wait on the first black astronaut doctor to play quarterback for the Vatican. I sure hope I don't be dropping nothing. I finally got that aerator working. Good. And I think I got the salt content of that water just about right. Thanks, Cool. I appreciate it. But I wouldn't be taking a bath tonight if I were you. Or shower either. What's going on in there? Lobsters, hundreds of them, and I've got to kill them. Are you here for the funeral or the party? Ruby show funeral. This way, please, folks. Are you here for the funeral or the party? The party. Right this way. I'm sorry, all conference. He was great. I saw him once against the Florida Gators. In Shorty, I don't care. Uh, Mr. Parrish, Miss Berkeley says that it's time for you to come out and greet the couple. What? Miss Berkeley says that it's time to... Tell her no, I won't do it. What? Tell her... Oh, please, sir. I can't tell her something like that. I'd rather let a train run over my feet. I'd be more likely to take a gun and put it to my hand. I can't tell... Oh, 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 all right, all right. It's okay. Good evening, Mrs. Griffin Lamore. Oh, Mr. Parrish. It appears that the food is most satisfactory. And the lobster is an especially nice touch. Thank you. A little extra I threw in. 
Hello, Hannah. Hello, Frank. I'd like to introduce you to my fiance, Dr. Lamar Boysenberry, Frank Parrish. Pleasure, I'm sure. Mr. Parrish, nice to meet you. Welcome to New Orleans. Excuse me, I, my mind was drifting. Would you say that again, please? I said, welcome to New Orleans. I understand that you're a newcomer to our community. Yes, I am. Tell me more about yourself. Well, Cleaned up in the kitchen there, boss. Thanks, Shirley. I guess that's it, huh? Yeah. See you tomorrow. Right now, it's the nature of the business. Sure is. Anyways, I wanted to tell you, you done good tonight, Frankie. Real good. It's probably not my place, but that's how I feel. Thanks, I appreciate that. I appreciate you working on those lobsters, too. No problem. Uh, I left this in the kitchen for you. All right. I'll lock up. Night. Hey. He has a funny voice, don't you? No! Sorry. No. That's all? That's all. You don't think so? Why not? Doesn't mean a thing. Do we keep a tab? Maybe one or two. Okay, that's not bad. Now that's what I would like to know. That's not bad at all. That's about it. That's about... It's a tough business, Mr. Parrish, from what I've heard. Uh-huh. Why is that funny? I guess we were too busy to notice. That's right. Oh, brother. Oh, no, no. I want you. Oi, vey. A hundred thousand. Alone? Here's my question. Oh, is that right? What's your name? My name is Cy Weisberger, ma'am. Won't you come in? 